Hi YouTube, how you doing? This is Thomas here. How you guys doing today? Um, <clears throat> just a quick video, just an uh, update. Um, for the last, uh, since October, I've been doing this uh, keto diet. Uh, been checking out uh, recipes and various websites uh, about uh, keto. And and I've, there's one website I want to say is uh, the Keto Connect. And then they... Uh, they they have uh, they're on YouTube as well, and they have some good ideas about getting into keto and things you should purchase and things like that. I've I've been on their website a couple times and I've purchased a couple things um, that turned out to be really good. Um, but a little expensive side, but that's okay. Um, but anyway, uh, my quick video basically is just giving you an update on what's going on here with me. <clears throat> Um, when I started this keto, I was above 200 and correction, 300 and 320 pounds. I was well over 320 pounds easily, um, probably heading towards 330. Um, and through research and doing the keto, um, I would call it dirty keto. This is not perfect, but uh, I make it perfect for my, for my own benefits. But anyway, um, um, this is now uh, June, June, heading into July. I just had an update with my uh, PCP, and um, I've lost over 30 pounds. I've lost over 30 pounds. I'm now at 301 pounds. That was weight two weeks ago. Um, and that's been very beneficial for my health. I have a lot more energy, a lot more get up and go. I'm able to do a lot more things. I'm able to be more active. And uh, it's been helpful. I've, I've been enjoying this. My, my weight has gone down tremendously. My stomach has gone down. Um, for Father's Day, uh, for all you fellows out there, happy Father's Day. And I was able to sit at the table and not have to worry about my stomach. I was able to sit in the booth without moving it at all. I just felt comfortably right in to the seat. The stomach has gone down. And that's that's a victory. That is a victory. Um before I had to move it out, table out, you know, that you know, if it was in a booth, I had to move it out to fit my stomach. Now I don't have to have that worry anymore. I've also lost um, um, almost two pant sizes now. I'm in jeans, uh, not jeans, but I'm shorts now that are very loose. Uh, even my underwear, I've had to um, get better fitting underwear now because I've lost so much weight. Um, and uh, that's uh, tremendous. Um, I'm able to walk up and down stairs now without being winded. I'm able to walk through a Costco, come in, go to the, do all the shopping I need to do, and come back out, and and wind it, not wind it anymore. I mean, I would that that process would take me a lot. I mean, I would have to walk into the store, take a few minutes, walking through the store, you know, for how long I would be wind it and then come back out would be a chore now it's not it's i mean it's it's night and day i wish i would have started this a lot sooner but it is what it is now um and it's a lifestyle change for me now uh chemically my hemoglobin a1c is well under six um it's like 5.8 which is good um so I am, this keto diet has been really good. Cholesterol is, is fine. Sodium, potassium, everything is fine with that. So it's been a, it's been a, a good um, transition. I was on the South Beach diet um, about maybe 10 years ago and I did lose about 30 pounds. And, but I think this one, this um, keto diet is a much better diet for me. And I'm able to do it a lot better. Um, 
and the restrictions to me, um, you know, they're tough. Not tough. I mean, they're. It's um. It's not tough. It's just that you have to know what you're doing, and um, I, you know, I, I've I've cheated before. I'm, I'm going to be frank, but. Um, because of the taste, you know, there's some things that you taste, and then once you've had it, you know, you're, you're done. Peanut butter, um, Reese's peanut butter cups are, are good. Reese's stick, you know, I might just have one or two, and I'm good for a, a couple days, you know. But I go to the grocery store now, and I see, you know, a lot of bread, uh, sodas, and that kind of thing, and I said, and ice cream. And I said, I can't have this stuff anymore. I mean, I, I, I mean. I look at that stuff now, and it disgusts me. It really does. Um, my son he eats um, cereal in the morning, and I can't. I mean, I, I had a bowl of cereal. I tried to eat a bowl of cereal about a month ago, and I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. It was some um, Cheerios, multigrain, and uh, I had some um, two percent milk, and I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't do it, but um, my wife cooked some pancakes. Um, I haven't had pancakes since uh, December, so she was kind enough. Uh, my son had asked for her to make some pancakes, and I had some pancakes. But I did have uh, a very good um, sugar-free uh, maple syrup, which was pretty good, and I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, I knew when to say when, <laughs> but. Um, but I'm going to say, you know, you know your limits. You know, if you see your limits, you know your limit. That's it. You know, if you if you fall off the wagon, okay, there's tomorrow. There is tomorrow. So, um, just want to give you guys some encouragement. You know, just keep keep doing what you're doing. If you have any questions uh, about the keto, um, please feel free to, um, you know, leave something in the comments. Um, I do have... Uh, a website that I'm developing now um, but um, check back with me um, I do have a SoundCloud I do have some old episodes of my podcast on SoundCloud uh, so um, you can check me out there as well so anyway you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time all right peace out happy belated Father's Day okay um, don't give up don't give in all right Bye.